Here we can find the perimeter or, or area of a rectangle if we're given maybe the perimeter or the area. So let's take a look at the first problem here. We have the length of a rectangle is three times its width. So I always like to draw out my rectangle. And I have a length. And I have a width. And it says here that the length of a rectangle is three times its width, right? So length is three times the width, which is W. So times means multiplication, so I'm just going to rewrite my length as 3W. They tell me that the perimeter is 40 meters and they ask us to find the area so we should find out see what we know we know that the perimeter of the rectangle is 40 meters right that means that when we walk around the entire perimeter it's going to give us 40 total meters and you know that the area of uh, the perimeter of a rectangle is two times your length plus two times your width so remember we know that the perimeter is two times the length plus two times the width or just your length plus your length plus your width plus your width. So we know that that's 40 and we know that the length is 3w so we're going to have two times 3w and we know that the width is just w so we just add 2w and we can simplify that and we get 6w plus 2w or 8w equals 40. So divide both sides by 8 and our w equals 5. Okay, so we found the width, right? So the width is 5 meters. This is the width. But what are we asked to find? We're asked to find the area, right? So let's go back and we'll take a look at what we know about our, our rectangle now. Well, we know that our rectangle has a width of 5 meters. And we know that the length is 5 times the width, right? So that's going to be 5 times 5, or 25 meters. So that's 25 meters. Okay, so this is our new rectangle, and then what are they asking us to find? They're asking us to find the area. So the area, if you remember, our formula is length times width, so it's simply going to be 25 times 5, which is going to give us 125, and the units for area is going to be meters squared. Okay, so this, here we're given the perimeter and we're asked to find the area. And so the two formulas that are important to us, we start off with the perimeter one, and then we use the area to find our final answer. If we're given a different problem, slightly different, similar problem, just a little bit different information, here I'm told that the length of a rectangle is 6 times. Length is 6 times the width. So let's go ahead and we'll draw out our, our rectangle again. And we have our length and we have our width. And it says that the length is 6 times, right? So that's multiplication, so it's 6w. But instead of the area, instead of the perimeter, they're giving us the area. So they tell us that the area is 384 inches squared. So remember, my area formula is length times width. So I know that that's 384 equals the length, which is 6w times the width, which is just w. So remember, this was my l, or 6w squared. Right, so I have 384, oh, 
Oops, I should have been able to three. Three hundred eighty-four equals six times w squared. Now I want to get w squared by itself, right? That's the variable I'm trying to solve for. And since I'm multiplying it by six, I'm going to divide both sides by six. So I get w squared equals six. Let's see, let me do a little bit of work over here. So I have 384 divided by six. It was in six times. Six times six is 36. I get 24, right? Bring down the four. So I get six times four. So my width squared is 64, okay? So if, my, if I take the square root of both sides, then I simply get w equals 8. So my width is 8 inches. But they didn't ask me for my width. They asked me for its perimeter, right? So in order to find the perimeter, again, I need to go walking around the entire rectangle. First, I need to find my length. So if my width is 8 inches, my length is 6 times. 8 inches, right? Because that's what it told us in the beginning. So my length is 48 inches. So now my new rectangle looks like I have an 8 inch on this side and a 48 inches on the long side. So I'm simply going to walk around so I could either do 8 plus 48 plus 8 plus 48 or again my perimeter is going to be 2 times my length plus 2 times my width, so that equals 2 times 48 plus 2 times 8, which is going to be 96 plus 16, or 112. Alright, let's just double check that. 96 plus 16 gives me 12, 11. So that's 112 inches. So that's the answer that they're looking for. My perimeter equals 112 inches. And it's not inches squared, right, because you're just walking along, so my units are simply inches.